It's Three Gun in the High Desert. We're back with more gun talk. The second day, we got to goof off at the range and just try out shooting some fun guns and fun targets. We've talked about the big spinner target from MGM. Travis, that's a fun target to shoot, but now you guys have a rimfire spinner. Yeah, it's, we came out with something uh, trying to be a little bit more economical to shoot, but as much fun as that thing is and as much of a challenge as it is, I don't know if it's any more economical or not. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you're just gonna shoot more ammo that's trying right. to do it. Yeah, we, what we've tried to do is just pair that same target that we've got for the center fire pistols down for the rim fires. You know, it takes about the same amount of rounds out of the 22 rifle as it does out of a nine millimeter pistol to get the thing to spin okay. over. You still have to do everything right for a long time, people gave us a hard time about, you know, oh, it's a, it's a circus target, you know, it's a carnival target. But I'll tell you what, man, I mean, I've taken it to military shows and I've taken it to law enforcement shows and lots of people spend a lot of bullets on it. Yeah, <laughs> after they shoot it, then they understand, That's right? right, yeah, that's right. Yeah! Oh! There it is! <laughs> The spinner from MGM, rim fire for economical shooting. Well, maybe it's gonna be economical, you be the judge. Last night was a challenge, but it was a lot of fun. I tell you what, learning to shoot at night with lights and lasers, it's not something you really get to practice very much at all. And so you're still figuring it out. Every stage, you're kind of fine tuning what you're doing. I got to shoot with night vision goggles on, shoot a full auto machine gun shoot suppressed uh, pistols, you know, silenced pistols. So that's a lot of fun. The way they set this up is pretty neat. Tonight, um, I believe we're gonna shoot more machine guns, thermal optics, a grenade launcher. So that'll be good. But we'll just try to be safe out there. That's the most important thing when it's at night. You have to take your time, make sure you're doing things right, putting the safety back on your gun, all that stuff. So we're gonna load up, get ready, and have at it. Stage eight is boots on the ground. You're gonna have to put your boots and get running for this one. First, you start out with the shotgun. You gotta hit these three clays and then the other three clays on the other side here. And what's left with your shotgun, you're gonna knock this army of poppers down, except you're gonna run out of ammo and you're gonna have to transition to the pistol. Get the rest of these guys, run around to the other side of the berm, pick up the AR, and you have a bunch of targets lined up, two shots on each one, and then you're done. Damn boy! As soon as I start shooting the shotgun, the light goes out on the shotgun. I have nothing. So I did my best. I tried to throw on my headlamp, see what I could do, but battery's got, got the best of me on this one, so. Kind of improvised, but I may have missed a couple targets. We'll see. If you're gonna have lights and lasers on your gun, make sure your batteries are charged up, make sure you, your gun is gassed up and you got power, so. It's a lesson learned, but we'll get there. So, when we're running a course like this, and run a big match like this, they need all the help they can get. So everybody has to go out, tape up targets, reset clays, and, uh, and reset steel. So the whole squad has to help out. So we're all gonna go out and reset targets. All right, we're doing the walkthrough for this stage. Um, start out with a rifle, you're in the prone position, shooting thermal at some four targets that are about, uh, looks like about 150, 200 yards away. Uh, run over here, grab the shotguns, I'm going to shoot these clays and still have a few rounds and try to knock the metal plates off and then transition to the pistol. Pistol all the way down and hit the fleer target. Should be cool. Two hits. Time is 104.62. Well, once again, it's a case of in the dark trying to find the targets.
So you kind of have to do a little searching, but managed to get all the clays, came over here, and I, I just couldn't see some of the steel. When they had, it's all painted up and it's bright and white, it's great, but this stuff isn't getting painted, it's really just about falling over. So as people shoot it, it's turning grayer and grayer, and it just starts disappearing in the dust and the night, you know, what can you say? But that's a great stage, and shooting the, the thermal is always fun.